Hey guys, I'm Kai and this is Indy. And our first game this morning is Mmm Fingers. And yeah, this sounds weird. Well, it is, but it's basically this game where you have to move your finger along these obstacles. They're sort of these monsters with spikes on them, and if you get cut on the spikes with your finger, then you have to start again. Yeah, sounds weird. <laughs> it is. So the thing that I like about this game is that it's challenging yet fun, and the music's really fun as well. Also, the monsters have certain traits. So for example, the blue triangle will follow your finger wherever you move it. So what do you not like about this game? Um, I don't like the scoring system. I mean, I think it counts the seconds that you're in the game, but I mean, I've never seen a game like that where it does count the seconds that you're in it or that how long you've lasted. I guess I would like it to count how many monsters you've passed or how far you've gotten up to. This game sounds really cool. Now, where can I find it? You can find it on the App Store or the Play Store and it's for free, which is a plus. Nice. So my pro gamer tip for this game is that this game sort of at the start goes a bit slower, so you can take your time or psych out the blue monsters, like say you move and then you can move again while it's trying to follow your finger, because it does go a bit slower. So you can kind of enjoy the game more when it is going slower. I always like games that are easier and slower, because yeah. it requires less effort, and that's always a good thing, you know? Yeah. Now our second game today is Arrow. And this game is a simple, fast-paced maze runner game where you have to try and zig through all of these quite crazy mazes while constantly being dragged to the right. Now in this game, you collect purple gems. And you might wonder why these gems are even there. But you can use these to buy new arrows and backgrounds, which keep the game looking colorful and crazy and keep it looking unique. So are there any ads in this game? There are ads in there, and usually I'm complaining about how annoying these ads are. But these ads are actually useful. You can watch a 30 second ad and get 10 free gems. That's cool. So what do you not like about this game? Well, there's actually not much that I don't like about this game, but I guess if you're a fan of games that have more story and options, then you might not like Arrow as it's kind of just the same thing every time. Now my pro gamer tip for Arrow is to make sure you get to know the physics. So play a little bit and get to know how to control your Arrow properly. If you have any suggestions, you can get in contact with us at whatnow.tv slash gamers. Until then, get gaming.